welcome to the Box of Delights game channel. We're playing Arkham Horror. As you can Pete would be kicking things off this turn, but remember, because of the encounter with the old man in the woods, he's completely missing this turn. For Jackie, who's in the Lost Cause Coza, I'm going to keep things just as they are for now, I think. Um, but I do have to roll a die and dis for, for the blessing to make sure we don't lose it. Remember, it tells us to roll one die in our upkeep and discard this card on a roll of the one. So, wish me luck. Alright, that's a three. We're good. Now we move to Jacqueline's movement, and she's in this Lost Corcosa other world, and she does now get to move to the second spot of Lost Corcosa. And we know we're looking for blue or yellow. So let's see. Blue. And it's Lost Corcosa. As soon as your eyes fall upon that cursed city, you know its name to be Corcosa. Looking down upon its empty streets, you're enlightened. Gain one clue token. That's great. Lost Corcosa seems to be a happy place to be. And now we're back in the mythos phase. Let's discard this one. Grab ourselves a mythos card. The stars are right. This one looks like it might be tough. It's a rumour card. And I really don't like it. It has an ongoing effect, right? So forget placing gates and moving monsters and so on. Roll a die at the end of every mythos phase whilst this card is in play. And this is going to stay in play, this rumour. Uh, on a one or a two, place one doom token on the ancient one's doom track. And if the ancient one awakens, return this card to the box. The only way we can get rid of this card is to do this pass effect. So to pass this card, we have to discard an ally while we're in the downtown streets. I don't like this card. Let's fire off Jacqueline Fine's precognition. So Jackie's going to say, no way. Once per turn, when the Mythos card, other than story continues to draw, and Jacqueline may spend two clue, con clue tokens to discard that Mythos card. I'd rather lose two clue tokens than lose. Dookie, I think, for now. And, and lose a turn trying to get this thing done as well. So Jackie's got enough clues. So we're going to spend two clue tokens. We're going to discard this one. And draw another one in its stead. But we can't do this again. We have to use this Mythos card. And this one says. Planetary alignment is an environment card. And that's much better. All right. So first step then, gate opens at the witch house. Bad news is that the witch house already has a gate. So this is going to be a monster surge. So how many gates do we have open? Five. So that's five monsters. Now we already know that we're at the monster limit in Arkham. So that's five monsters in the outskirts. And there's already three in the outskirts. And our outskirt limit is six. Let's, let's draw the five monsters, right? So one... Two, that's four in the outskirts. Three, now that's six in the outskirts. I've got two more to draw. This will be the seventh. Right, now we've gone over the outskirts limit. So these are all going to go back in the cup. Give it a good old shuffle. All right, and we're going to add one more. So let's take one more, and this is going to go back in the outskirts. We have a ghoul. All right, so now the outskirts are at one. But what are the consequences of having gone over the outskirt limit. Well, let's go through that now. The first consequence is that this tarot track is going to go up by one. Some of these are coloured differently. When we hit the number three, the general store is going to close. We hit number six, and the curious, uh, the... Is it the magic shop or the curiosity shop? I think it's the curiosity shop's going to close. And then when we hit nine, the, the magic shop's going to close. We hit ten, that's when bad things start happening. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll come to that if and when we get there. Every time the terror track goes up, the people of Arkham get a little bit disturbed and we have to lose a potential ally. So we draw a random ally, Amy Pierce. So Amy Pierce packs his bags and gets out of town. Alright, so that's our... 
Monster surge done, so now we have the clue appearing in the black cave. But there's a gate there, so no clue. Monster movement, we have squares and diamonds moving white and circles moving black. We don't have any one in the street, so our biarchy in the sky is going to stay there. We got a line, a hexagon, triangle. Our elder thing is a diamond, so once more is going to move. And remember, you need to follow the white arrow, not the black. So the white arrow takes us from East Town to River Town. And now we get to read the headline, Planetary Alignment. Thanks to the mystic energy generated by the planetary alignment, all spells have a sanity cost of zero. Now remember, we had our 4th of July parade, which is now finished. And we can lose this other environment too, the solar eclipse, which was stopping us casting spells. Now the planets have become aligned. And we can discard these two. Once more, I'm just going to put these underneath. Jacqueline's going to kick us off next time.